Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 33, The Martian by Andy Weir. Oh man, was this book good. Okay, let's get into it. I've got to say, this book had more stand-up-and-cheer moments than most books I've read, and those are really satisfying moments as a reader. You go on a long, tough, lonely journey with NASA astronaut Mark Watney. I'm not really a hard science fiction reader, and I did get a bit bogged down a tiny bit occasionally from all of the technical stuff, but at the same time, it was Mark explaining what he was doing to stay alive, so the tension was still there. I'm sure a lot of more scientific-minded readers will love these details for the realism they add to the story. This story was 100% believable. I believed everything the whole way through. It was as if I was reading astronaut log entries from NASA's website of actual events that happened. One of the best things about this book is the main character's sense of humor. He wrote the most hilarious stuff. I laughed out loud a ton while reading this book, even though I was reading about a stranded astronaut on Mars in situations where it looks like he most likely would die. The things he writes in the log entries you read in the book are so funny. His levity really makes the prose in this book shine, and the dire situation he is in more palatable. If it weren't for his jokes and laugh-out-loud humor, I would have had a much harder time reading through the long technical bits, and might not have even made it through the story. His humor makes you want to root for him even more. I mean, let's face it, everyone automatically wants to root for a guy stranded alone on Mars, but the fact that this guy doesn't give up is extremely talented, capable, and hopeful, and hilarious on top of all of that just makes you want to root for him that much more. This book takes you on one heck of a journey. Most of the book is the log entries of the main character, Mark, who is stranded on Mars. I have to stress, though, that the other parts of the book, written in third person about the people back on Earth trying to save him, were really well done, too. They had many moments of tension and hilarity. This book, with all of its dire situations and need for extreme knowledge of technical scientific details, would have been extremely hard to write, even if it turned out dull and boring when it was done. Andy Weir managed to get all of the technical stuff right in an amazingly believable way and sprinkle in fantastic humor and great characters you love on top of it, which makes this an instant classic of science fiction in my book. I don't think it has won me over to wanting to read more hard science fiction books, but I will for sure read anything Andy Weir writes. I'm a big fan of his. I can't believe this was his debut novel. It was amazing. You know what else is amazing? You can get the audiobook, The Martian by Andrew Weir, for free, just for trying audible.com. You can go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and get a free audiobook. I would recommend The Martian by Andy Weir, narrated by R.C. Bray. It's 10 hours and 53 minutes, and you will be enthralled and thrilled and interested and laughing and feeling super tense moments, gripping your... I read this book with the audiobook, so I was going to say gripping your steering wheel as you drive down the freeway, <laughs> just knowing that our, he's he's going to die. I don't know how he's ever going to get out of this situation, and um, it's amazing. So go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and you can pick 
one audiobook, any audiobook of your choice, but I would really highly recommend The Martian. Check it out, listen to this book, then go see the movie with Matt Damon. It was also excellent. Now, let's get back to that review. So, um, I read this book because one of my cool co-workers was like, Hey, I just finished this book. It was awesome. And it's on sale today. The ebook was on sale for $2. But when I went to Amazon, it was on sale as like a bundle. You could get the ebook for 2 bucks, or the ebook for 2 bucks, and the audiobook for 3 So I got both and paid only $5. Like I said, you can get the audiobook for free right now. But, um, I've read a little Heinlein, but, um, I don't think I've really ever read any hard science fiction, and I don't think in most cases I would really like it. I'm more of a Star Wars guy, which is, like, pretty much fantasy, just in space. Um, I'm just much more about going on an adventure, and so this book was hard science fiction, but, man, it was so believable and so interesting and... I just loved the main character of Mark Watney. He was in a situation where most people would just give up and die, and he was like, screw it, I'm gonna live through this, and so I'm going to figure it out. And he just used his vast knowledge of botany, he's a botanist, and science and mechanical know-how to just MacGyver his way out of all these situations. And um, it was just amazing. The story itself was written really well, too. Like I said, this would have been an amazingly hard story to write, just for all of the technical knowledge that you would need. But besides that, it's a very compelling story, and Andy Weir just did an amazing job with the plot, the structure of the story. I was reading this uh, screenwriter's blog post, and he actually took this book and marked different spots in the story where big events took place and these big events take place they're supposed to take place in a certain part of your story if you have your structure all figured out and it was crazy he just put a paper clip in there and circled and you could just see that the book was divided perfectly into act one and then the first half of act two and the second half of act two and then act three almost exactly which was just crazy to me because Apparently, Andy Weir wrote this book as blog posts, and then self-published it, and then, pretty sure, a publisher picked it up, and then it's just had amazing success, and now it's a very successful motion picture. I saw someone post on Twitter they'd been waiting to see the movie until later, and they just went to see it, and the theater was still packed weeks later after its release, so it was an awesome movie. They changed a few things in the movie, but... I feel like they still did a great job capturing the feel of the movie. Very tense, also really, really funny moments. Uh, and overall, they just did a great job. Matt Damon was great in it. And so, yeah, highly recommend this book. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave it five out of five stars. It was that good. So go check it out and then go watch the movie and have a bunch of hard science fiction fun. All right, thank you guys for listening and I'll see you next week with another book review. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.